In this video, we are looking at positional release for the hamstring. We're showing this in prone, but there are a variety of different positions you can essentially use for this muscle. You have on the lateral side, you have the biceps femoris, and the more medial aspect is the semimembranosus and semitendinosus. So through your examination and your palpation, you will decide uh, which of these muscles that you will treat. Here, through our examination palpation, we found biceps femoris. Now from here, once we've located the patient's uh, pain scale, we now need to find the position of ease. Now we can add as much flexion as we need, or you may add less and add some lower limb or lower leg rotation with some knee flexion. Now the key here is to remember when you're adding flexion, especially in a painful area, to the hamstring. If you add too much flexion too quickly, there'll be a risk, especially if the patient contracts because of discomfort, that it spasms. So go nice and slow, nice and carefully. So we locate, we push down, we now find the position of ease. And that is the position of ease for the, this patient. I can relax the palpation here to that biceps femoris and hold this between 90 seconds and two minutes. After that time has elapsed, we move back nice and slow towards the neutral resting position. And we can give another 10 to 20 seconds for the patient just to relax here. Now from this, we want to add some quality and quantity of movement. You would look at doing some mobilizations to the hip. You could add in some soft tissue release, pin and stretch type techniques adding some, again, some rotation, but again, nice and slow, and would always recommend moving below the level of the knee or the hamstring inferiorly towards the calf. Um, overall, you're trying to reduce the discomfort the patient is having, and overall quality and quantity of movement is the key.